we, what is it, 704, 304? Uh, 302. 302, okay. I don't At least on, on my clock. Okay, 302 on my clock too, okay. So, um, so has everybody read the minutes? No, I no. will admit to having not read the minutes. Okay, well, I had one, um, one, one suggest, one not suggestion, but one um, recommendation that in paragraph two, when it talks about um, talking about minimal discussion of articles one through four, if we could um, include in that that we were talking about the bylaws, because that wasn't clear. I think that is a friendly amendment. Yes. So if. Uh... If you all would like to approve the minutes with that friendly amendment, we'll make the changes for the posting hobby. Okay. Approved, approved. approved. We need somebody to, to move it and second it and then approve it. Right. I yeah. still move. And second. Nobody. Somebody else has to second. Okay. Gary okay. <laughs> seconds it. Okay, great. Okay. So we have on our agenda, we have. Um, we're going to be reviewing the bylaws again. And Jessica, do you have them to put? Yes. Would you like me to pull up a uh, clean copy with the edits that you've made so far or a working copy that shows the edits you've made so far? Um, I would like just a clean copy. What about everybody else? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because this is what, the third time we've looked at these? Yeah. Okay. So everyone should be able to see my screen with uh, your bylaws on it. Is the size okay? Okay, yeah. and this is the clean copy. So it's not the approved copy right now. It's a copy that incorporates all the edits that you have already uh, recommended. Good. Good, good. Okay, so why don't we go through item by item and then if we have anything we want to talk about, it will be you know, in sequence, not out of order. So name of library, yes. Um, the objectives, which reflect the Virginia code, we worked on those. Any discussion on that on article two? Nope. Um, article three, membership. Um, again, we've, we've um, included wording that, that um, reflects the Virginia code. Any discussion? No. What's the footnote? Wait, I'm gonna try and pull up the regular document as well. Sure. So the footnote number one is each Fairfax County Supervisor District oh, is right, right, right. Library okay. Board. Yeah. Right. And the okay. two footnotes are both listed at the bottom of the document. Right, okay. Since we're looking at the footnotes now, I um, we had several questions that Christine answered for us. Um, a point in, um, the first, does anybody do you have that? You don't have that, I bet. I do. do. Um, would you pull that up, please, Jessica? Yes. Have to find it. So this is the email that uh, Christine had sent you all uh, for inclusion in this meeting. So the questions that were asked were, uh, do the Library Board of Trustees serve at the pleasure of the appointing supervisor or is it different since they are voted on by the full board? And the response from the county attorney's office as uh, noted here is that trustees do not serve at the pleasure in quotes of the board of supervisors because once appointed a trustee can only be removed by the full board if there is some kind of misconduct or neglect of duty right um, so, so they recommend the the two highlighted parts here that they're nominated by the board of supervisors and appointed by the board of supervisors and um, we had quite a lot a long discussion about that and i don't think any of us really understood that part of it, we, um, I really appreciate Christine tracking that down for us, but we sure. don't include this any place in the bylaws. And I think that from the discussion we had at the board meeting, um, again, there was some confusion about exactly who, you know, why we're there and who has appointed us and, you know, who are serving it 
whose pleasure. So I think that um, I would like to see this included in footnotes, maybe right along with that number one. So is this saying then that there's some type of meeting at which the Board of Supervisors approves the nominate or whatever the word is, if it's not nomination, yes. the appointment of each of us? Oh, I didn't yes. realize that that actually happens. Yes. So the Board of Supervisors meets once or twice a month as a full board for a regular meeting, not for committee meetings. Right. And typically once a month, they approve a slate of board authority and commission appointments. Um, the form, uh, it's really long because there's 96 or 100 different board authorities and commissions in the county, but the document is put forward to the full board supervisors and it is moved by the full board of supervisors. Uh, there isn't typically a ton of discussion or any. Yeah, you know, no, I would not. Okay. Yes, that is, that is how they handle that. All right. So Sheila, are you asking for a new footnote to be added or do you want a third section in membership? Let me see. Um, I think it should be a footnote for brevity and, and, and you know, it makes it a nice clean, but we had for number one, we had um, each Fairfax County supervisor district is represented on the library board. And then, it, you know, the addition, I'm thinking it, it should maybe each have it, its own, its own number two or somehow be incorporated in number one. Because I know that at the discussion at the um, at the you know at the board meeting somehow it came up and there were all kinds of questions about you know the confusion about what our what our role as trustees and you know can we can we say we can you know all kinds of questions that um, this clears up that we do not have the authority to you know to say how long we're going to be on the board or um, it just it clears it up. So I added uh, just a note in here right now to add a footnote in later mm -hmm. that says trustees are nominated by each member of the board of supervisors and appointed by the full board of supervisors. Board. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. Okay. It's not actually referring to the code. I just stuck the note in there kind of funny. So exactly. yeah, right. Okay, that's good. Thank you. All of right. course. Where are we now? We're under, are we, we under? are in section three, we are. article three. Are we on four? Right. So yeah. So now we're on four. So this is the duties of the board. And again, we've you know we have the code refer to the code. I'm uh, sorry, I was muted and I was trying to um, say something and I didn't realize oh, I was I muted. No, because I yeah. Um, I thought that was really good information that they, uh, the only way that um, a trustee can be removed is by action of the full board. I mean, that issue came up. Board of Supervisor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I think that either that, that could go into the footnote as well. Yeah. Um, and that, the idea, no, they're not appointed. They don't serve at the pleasure, you know, they serve, yeah. Yeah, I think that is really, I think those questions came up during our, our um, big television <laughs> publicity. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I think that's great. Yeah, that's good. This is very timely. This is, this is good that we're doing it, I think. Very, very timely. Okay, so where are we? So now we're on four. Is everybody with me? Yes. Okay, has everybody had a look at this and... But we're happy with the way it reads. Yeah, me too. Okay, so number five, um, the officers. So, hey, can I just ask a question? So, Absolutely. some of some of the document that we're looking at here on the shared screen has red line in it where we made the changes and other sections don't. And I'm wondering, is this, so for instance, if you scroll down on article, the elections are, we, we did a lot of redlining here. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, this is a clean version here, but not a clean version above. Is this all supposed to be a clean version? 
I thought it was, yeah. It is a clean version. The only addition so far is of the note where the new footnote is gonna be from your edits today. Well, why are these, oh, are these links? Yeah. It appears blue. Yeah, okay. those are all uh, hyperlinks to um, different library, county and state websites. Okay, never mind. That was a stupid question yeah. then, sorry. Okay. No, it's good. Uh, that's good to clear it up. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Because okay. I think that we decided that we really needed the links to, if people were invest, you know, looking online, they could really get the full picture, not just uh -huh. our version. Okay, so now where are we? Elections. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I think we went over that pretty thoroughly the last time. Yeah. And it ended up being quite a bit shorter, which is nice. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I had, so nomination, under nominations, I did have a question on F where it says additional nominations under three, additional nominations may be made at the May or June meeting from the floor. Mm -hmm. On June, at the June meeting, we vote. Yes. So my question is, if somebody decides to make a nomination at the June meeting, just before we vote, in other places, where it talks about um, majority voting um, on number five terms of office um, on letter D, it says that five day notice shall, of, such a no, of such an election will be given. And then um, on E, five days notice of such election be given. And also um, the board packets come five days before a meeting. So um, board members will have a chance to read them. I'm wondering if we should take out that a nomination can be thrown in at the last minute at the June meeting. We and talked about this. Yeah, but I, I still have questions, but I still have questions. I still have questions, especially since five days comes up several times as we go forward. Well, you all can make whatever decision right. you'd like. You, you can choose to continue to allow nominations from the floor at the June meeting. You could say they have to be made five days before the June meeting. Mm -hmm. um, the notification of the elections, the, the five-day process for that is for the actual election it's, itself. I don't think it's tied to the specific people who have been nominated. It's just to make sure that people can attend the meeting. Um, that's... That would be my interpretation of it. So you all have the autonomy to, to decide what you would like to do about how long you'll allow um, self-nominations or nominations from others. Right. Mary, could you review, could you remind me why we decided that we would allow them all the way up to the um, meeting? Okay, so at the time, from what I remember, <laughs> I could be wrong. I think I said, I think I was in, a, in favor of not having nominations from the floor in June mm -hmm. at the meeting, but people felt that it certainly doesn't do any harm. Why not? If somebody thinks about it after the May meeting and they decide they would want a position of leadership, then they could just put their name in. It doesn't give the rest of the trustees very much time to think about it, but honestly, like who cares? Okay, so they'll think about it at the floor. So there was this just general sense of, <clears throat> you know, why not? We've been doing it that way. It hasn't caused any real damage. We should keep going to do it the same way. Mm -hmm. um, That's sort of my recollection too. But, you know, and, and I'm fine with leaving it as is, that, that they can come in at May or June. Okay, so I'm, I'm the minority. What about you, Gary? What do you think? Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, it, it, unless the, there was some problem where, you know, someone became ill or something like that, we wouldn't want to have to wait another whole month to. Uh, well, that's a good idea. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, I just, I just thought I'd throw it in. It just. Um, Yeah, we've had such a smooth sailing in our, our board meetings that, you know, it's like just finding somebody who's going to willing, has a chance to be willing to take on, you know, the leadership role. But um, yeah, I'm fine with it too. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have a, I have a question on um, section three, um, letter C, where we have capitalized the word trustee 
uh, which I think it should not be capitalized. It's not capitalized um, in see. other sections. And it's when it's used that way. I mean, it's, if it's the Fairfax County Library Trustee, it is capitalized, but like that, it's not supposed to be. So just to be consistent. I have uncapitalized it. Okay, thank you. Right. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so we're fine with with section three. Okay, section four. Anything? Any? Everybody's fine with that oh, one. That's fine. That's good. Okay. And then terms of office. Section five. Okay, and those five days that I mentioned have to do with making sure that people have enough notice to make a meeting as opposed to, um, okay. Okay, yeah. it's fine with everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, number six, duties of officers. Okay, this is where we got into the library foundation election, right? No, that was um, before. No, it, it came up before, but you know, yeah. but it's... it's um, Okay, and everybody, everybody's read this one and it's mm -hmm. happy with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. In section two, the vice chair shall act in absence of the chair and shall perform any other duties assigned by the chair. Fine. Avenger. Section three, the secretary shall. Every, everything's fine there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and section four, the representative of the library board shall, yeah. Ironically, it says report quarterly on the activities of Fairfax Library Foundation. So uh, it's always on the agenda, but they, they, the minutes say they only report quarterly, but I think it only, it says report, I think it says report quarterly because the board of directors meetings for the foundation are quarterly, but yeah. there might be stuff to say, like come to the Jubilee True. in advance, <laughs> not quarterly. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to just say report on the activities. Yeah, I, I'm fine I if that. you don't, I, yeah, I don't, I mean, it was just like, there's, it's fine. I'm fine without it. Yeah. Because we don't, yeah, oops. All right, I was slipping into the committee thing, but yeah, that's right. Unless it confirms that the, um, that the foundation representative actually attends meetings quarterly, is, is, is that just assumed? Well, the board, the foundation board meets quarterly and the yeah. um, library, the trustee representative is an ex, ex officio member right. and does attend. So the assumption or is expected is to attend. Exactly. That's what I'm. And then I'm, I had yeah. talked to Lisa about preparing a bullet list for that person so that they would actually have something to report that came from the foundation. So that's right. Well, so, so maybe this, this little uh, thing here should, should have a line. A should be that the representative should oh, that's true. attend. attend. Yeah, attend the quarterly. Oh, yeah, that's better. Services. Well, above. ex ex officio director. No, the the foundation representative is not an ex officio member because they. Yes. Yeah, they need to be a full, full member. Yeah, they are. We, we, but we we have that in right as an ex officio. No, but it should it should be ex officio voting director. Just and the reason is that I re I'm not sure if you were at that meeting. I had researched that definition ex officio means voting oh, but okay. we okay. went round and round on that because it wasn't uh, people didn't know that myself included until i did some research so that's why we say the secretary shall serve as an ex officio voting director and so the same thing for um the 
yeah, right there as an ex officio. Okay. And when it's a it's an adjective, it's hyphenated. If you just say ex officio, yeah, it would go good. So may, yeah, a, so maybe a, should at first they serve and then they report. Yeah. I'll fix the delivery on here. And later. attends. You just want to say attends. Foundation board meeting. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Right. I remember the big line. I guess reports on the activities then. Okay, great. Yeah. Report. Yeah. That was that's good. Yeah. I remember the big long discussion, but I hadn't written down the definition and then I had time to had to do it all over again and didn't. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, number six, seven meetings. So regular meetings held each month. Special meetings, public location, emergency, simple majority. Okay. That's fine with everybody? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And number eight, the committees. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think that's clear. Yep. Okay, and again, Article 9, Parliamentary Authority, Robert's Rules of Order, and we didn't give a, an addition but just current, so yeah. yeah. I think that was actually a prior edit. It had it had, had an older edition in there exactly. and you opted to change it just to the current edition. Yeah, right, yeah. And then Article 10, Amendment of Bylaws. Um, okay. And then we're down to our Footnotes. Yeah, and we'll add in that new footnote number two uh, regarding uh, appointments and nomination by the board of supervisors. And then I had some ideas on the library foundation footnote. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I have a copy of the foundation footnote or um, bylaws, and if we want to put that language in there. I don't know if that would be good. Um, but at any rate, I would like also to, for sure, to clarify, um, we'll see the, okay, here's the language from the foundation footnote. Um, I just keep saying that, from, the, um, from their bylaws. The director of the Fairfax County Public Library, the chair of the Fairfax County Public Library Board of Trustees, and a member elected annually by the Fairfax County Library Board of Trustees shall serve as ex officio voting members. So maybe if we put in, does it, would it make sense to put in their language? Then it's straightforward, that's what it is. So you'd be like the fair, it's a, it, it, yeah. Do you want me can, to just- Can you read it again? Yeah. Um, The director of the Fairfax County Public Library, the chair of the Fair of the Fairfax County Public Library Board of Trustees, and a member elected annually by the Fairfax County Library Board of Trustees shall serve as ex officio voting members. And, and then just as an aside, it's interesting in the foundation bylaws, then the next sentence is the executive director of the foundation shall be an ex officio non-voting member. So they specify that as well. So it's uh, nice to have it like that. Sheila, do you, are you, are you, you good with that? You want me to keep that in? Yeah. Gary, you good as well? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Oh. 
That's I've end. got a question on the first footnote. Is Christine implying that we should use a magister magisterial district? Oh, she has she has that. Um, let me see. She implied that. So the question was: Does Fairfax County have a preference between magisterial district or supervisory district? District, excuse me. And the um, Virginia Code that speaks to urban county executive form of government just used the term district. District. So yeah. you can use district. Uh, the county uses magisterial district in some of our documentation. So if you wanted to leave it exactly, um, if you wanted to change it, you could either remove the word supervisor or change the word supervisor to magisterial and either one of those would be consistent with other county uh, documentation. I, I move that we do that. Change it to leave it or change it to magisteri magisterial. Change it. Change it. Anything else? No, it looks beautiful. <laughs> mm, it does. <laughs> so this In goes a geeky in way. as a consideration item for March. March, yeah. and then we vote in May, I, I, April. April. God, I, I skipped yes. a whole Okay. <laughs> yes. So um, what I will do is in your March board packet, uh, you'll have both a copy. You'll have a copy of the current bylaws. You'll have an amended copy. So all the track changes will be in both from today and from all your previous sessions so that anyone can look at it and see exactly what all the changes are. Mm -hmm. And then we'll include a clean recommended revised copy so that you can easily read it as well. So you have three different documents in there since this one's got a lot of changes. I thought that was great with the with policy W at the last meeting that as the consideration item we have you all three versions. I think that's a really and maybe they've always done it that way, but I don't remember that. But that's a great way. It's yeah. good. Yeah, agreed. Now I have a question. Um, we that we have worked this what is this our third time, and we've made um, we've clarified we've. We've, um, you know, shrunk, we've made it more readable and, and con condensed it. Do you think that there'll be a lot of discussion among um, our board members, or do you think that it will just be, oh, it looks fine? I mean, we made a lot of changes, so I think you need to anticipate there will be discussion. Right. So what I was wondering, because we have worked this over, and um, for example, I think the the, the, the largest change, the biggest, the most significant change has been the, um, the foundation representative. I'm wondering if we, if one of us has, like Bran, has had, has spent a lot of time working and doing the background work on this, be ready to answer those questions rather than, um, you know, just have them, you know, really, really be ready for them. So Fran, would you be willing to take on questions about the, bio, you know, about the foundation? If they, if they come up? A couple of things. Um, it's interesting is that um, it, it was, it is the same as it was because it always had been an elected. And then somehow right. over time, different chairs had, mis had not read the bylaws and just right. appointed. And then, um, so it was upon review. And uh, I, I don't, I mean, I have, I don't know why I have such strong feelings of leaving it as the elected and include, and which is why I wanted the language from the foundation. Cause I, I you know, as our sort of like a partner, I don't wanna have that. And Lee even said, don't make us do our bylaws again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I but I'm so, we... but then, so that's one point. Then the other one is as um, the issue of the chair, um, you know, sort of, putting a thumb on the scale of a discussion. Uh, I just wonder about that, whether it would be better 
you know, I sort of see myself as moderator or not. Miriam, no, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, something like this yeah. that you've been so involved in, you're providing an explanation. I don't, no one's going to be unduly right. influenced because you are the chair. I know you wield awesome power, <laughs> but I don't think that you should. Don't bring me down. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I'll be glad to. <laughs> I, was thinking, I mean, since we all were kind of surprised, I guess none of us have really um, studied the bylaws the way we should. Um, so just as an explanation or some of the background, since you have been on the board, but um, if you don't, you know, but if you think that's, I'd be happy to do it too. So I just wondering to spread around some of the fun. Um, I is, think it, you know, I think it came up last time because it was kind of isolated and it was new and, um, and, I, I bet now, I don't know, I just feel like now it's the whole package. And I think with a good introduction of, um, mm -hmm. you know, we've sort of rearranged, put it in better order, tidied it up. Yeah, um, right. Take it or I, leave it. No. <laughs> right. But since we haven't. But, it, but it's good to anticipate. You're right. And we haven't been electing this position. So, um, you know, it will be a surprise to to some people, maybe. Yeah. Um, are there any other points? Is there anything else in here that, I mean, uh, we've worked just over so often that um, it just seems to flow nicely. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here that would need more of an explanation, but I just want to throw it out. If anybody felt strongly about one section or another and wanted to field questions if they came up, that's, that's what I was asking. Like Gary, the, you know, shalls and wills and mays, come up sometimes. I mean, I never paid attention to those words until I started working on bylaws with you. <laughs> I don't know whether anybody else in the, on the board will, if they'll even notice them, but um, okay. The one thing I would suggest maybe is that because, well, I guess they have between March and April to look at this, but I would, um, I'd suggest that you suggest that people actually read through it before the meeting. I intend so that, to. I right? intend Because otherwise it's going to drag over and there's only so many meetings we want to talk about this. Right. Oh, I, that's exactly what I mean. I want it to be, I want it to be ready, you know, for us to, to field any questions that come up and have it done in April. I mean, mm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that we've done a really good job. I mean, we've studied it and looked at it from lots of different angles. And um, Christine did a lot of good research for us. So um, mm -hmm. I think we're ready, but I just wanted to make sure we've, we've, we have, since we do have new members on the board and they do have some wonderful questions, I just want to make sure that we're ready to um, answer them so they understand, you know, what's going on. So on policy W, if I can, uh, if I can bring, if we're done with bylaws. Yeah, I was gonna, yes, go, go. I was gonna bring Cause I was gonna say yeah. that will be um, discussion and um, uh, you know, it's unpredictable, um, but Sheila, you wanna handle that and um, mm -hmm. I can help with, um, and because Jane and I do the monitoring of who's next, who's got their hands up. Right. So uh, yeah. I'll call on people. Yes. Um, and I'll, I'll make a statement of like, you know, don't, don't put your hand up to talk, to say the same thing over and over again. I mean, I'll say it nicer than that, but no, you know. Yeah, so. right. Yeah. And um, <laughs> policy W, you know, after, you know, we've worked it and I was comfortable. I think we had, um, you know, we, we, had, we had touched on all our bases. And then um, at the outreach meeting, Jessica, you were talking about people coming to the parking lot to access, um, high, you know, the, the, the internet. Yeah. And I thought, you know, does Policy W embrace that? Um, the library doesn't have to be open for somebody to pull up and are they going to have to sit close into the, you know, the plaza and will this be interpreted as misusing the library or a loitering? <laughs> um, I think I, I can happily talk to that at the full yeah. board meeting because we are uh, purposefully adding exterior Wi-Fi to branches, which will support it. We're also okay. going to be purposefully designating certain parking spots where we know that the reception is the strongest. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's not open 24 seven. It turns off at 
midnight, I think. Uh -huh. So it would still comply with the parameters that are set up in policy W because if somebody is, you know, hunkering down in a parking lot from midnight to 5 a.m., they're probably just taking a nap there. Or, yeah, but that's oh, not that's, using the wireless. But that's against the rules according to policy W. So yeah, yeah, exactly. right, right. Because I I reread policy W, thinking looking for loopholes, thinking how is this going to you know somebody's there in the parking lot looks like they're just you know getting ready to sleep there the night, but they're actually you know using and everybody has a device. I mean anybody in a parking lot if you look at them they're all they all have their their Absolutely. You know, their yeah. noses and their cell phones or, or their iPads. So um, the yeah. biggest thing that Policy W helps us with is people who have uh, purposely left behind vehicles. So it's, yeah. it's someone who has abandoned their vehicle or um, just had to leave it behind for some reason or mm -hmm. uh, tires have been popped or things like that. So when we have them in a parking lot for two or three weeks, that's what really helps us with that policy because then we can contact someone to have it removed. You can, right. And the other, the other, um, part of policy W and we work this one too is I don't have it in front of me, but I think it's the last one where the if admin is not available, so it's a Sunday, for example, uh -huh. and calling the police, I think that um, it gives some latitude to the branch. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But we made it clear that not anybody on no not anybody on staff could just call. It would be the person in charge for the day. Yeah, and that's helpful at some of our locations where we're like right next to um, large housing complexes and folks are using the library a lot as overflow parking uh, and then library patrons can't park anywhere. That's exactly right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, right. But I can't anticipate any other questions. Can anybody else? No. Okay, and we did take out camping, that particular term. And I. Yeah, a lot of the language was cleaned up and shortened um, yeah. so that it's just reflecting back to other code. Exactly, good, okay. So is there any, anything else? This is remarkable, 40 minutes. No, I think we're good. Do you have any other policies on your list that we need to work on in the future? Because I think we went through pretty much everything that was on your original list. Yeah. I haven't, just Jessica, anything? No, uh, library staff haven't identified any that require an update either due to county or state changes or our own procedural updates. Um, I'll take another look through and she'll all be in touch, but right now we don't have any that we've identified. That's what I thought, okay, right. Anything else, Gary? Nope. Nope. Okay, so I guess, so do we don't need to, um, Find a time for another meeting. We're done. Right now, no. We're done. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you, everybody. And um, do we have, have to make a motion? I oh, have a question. I have yeah. a question. So, what with ad hoc committees, um, will 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 we keep you as a committee for a while in case something comes up, or should we disband this ad hoc, stand it down? I guess not until after April, at any way. You should keep the committee standing. You don't have to have meetings. Okay. I, I mean, I think policy is a standing committee. Uh, policy is an ad hoc committee. Ad hoc. Ad -hoc. And um, Miriam is absolutely correct. You can, you can do whatever you'd like, but you should certainly keep this group in place at least until all of the policies that you are currently recommending amendments to absolutely. have traveled all yeah. the way through the process in case they get referred back to the committee by the full board. <laughs> just in case you get the bylaws back again we're ready, we're ready. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah. yes we could we could name them in our sleep okay so <laughs> we we are adjourned with somebody motion to adjourn so move who second Doctor. good all right Meeting is adjourned. Right, nice to see you all. Hey, lovely Thank to you. see you. Good work. And, um, Miriam, are you still planning to come to the government center tomorrow? Yes.